Welcome to our video series, Out of the Vault, where we take a closer look at some of the artifacts from the Brockle Museum that are not currently on display. When we accept an artifact into our collection, we ask these questions. Who, what, where, when, and why? My hope is that I can try to answer some of these questions by exploring an artifact today. So today we're in our archives room where all of our paper artifacts are stored. And in my hands I have some sheets of a letter. This letter was written by Dorothy Buell on May 12th, 1915. Now if the name Dorothy Buell sounds familiar, uh, she's a descendant of William Buell, and she and her mother Sophie, along with Dorothy's siblings, all traveled across the Atlantic to be with Dorothy's father, William Sinclair Buell while he was fighting in World War I. Now this letter is actually to a friend of Dorothy's, Marion Brown, who was living in Brockville at the time. Uh, but what they actually detail are some of William's experiences at the front. So it's a bit of a letter chain. Now, while letters are not the prettiest objects to exhibit, uh, and they can be difficult to exhibit uh, because they're quite fragile, uh, letters provide us with immense historical detail uh, that you may not always read about in textbooks. And I wanted to share a little bit about uh, William's experiences today. Uh, and I think these three sentences that I'm about to read uh, give you a sense of the atmosphere of trench warfare. So here we go. It was amusing to read of Colonel Morrison directing his artillery while he shaved, but some way or other he wasn't Johnny on the spot that time. A Canadian artillery went bang, five minutes intermission, while the Germans was a steady bang, 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 40 to our one. So even in this short paragraph, uh, we can learn a lot about the atmosphere during the war. So you may ask if this letter gives us such important historical detail, why isn't it on display? And the simple answer is that letters and other paper artifacts are very sensitive to light and environmental changes. However, you can still read a full transcript of this letter and see some images of this letter uh, by going to our website, uh, brockvillemuseum.com, and searching for the Buell letters in our database. Now, this is part of the Open Drawer project where we're working to digitize all of our collection so it's available to the public. Thank you for watching.